I'm here with uh, Jamie Carding ahead of uh, Sunday's big game with Bradford Bulls. You missed last week's game with Halifax and you're going to miss another one with Bradford. Uh, what, how are you feeling? I'm obviously devastated to be missing probably the, the two most important games of the season really. Um, I've worked personally very hard all season, uh, including the pre-season, to get sort of where we are um, and, all my, and all my hopes and we're going into this, uh, playing in these big games. Um, unfortunate enough I was uh, I, t I took an injury in the uh, Batley game and um, it's ruled me out for last week and, and unfortunately this week as well. You're hoping to be back for the middle eights though, aren't you? Uh, yeah, hope if so. If you win the game. Yeah, hope so. Um, I'm, I'm just waiting on a, a call back for my scan, uh, hoping it's going to be at the end of this week or maybe early next week so I can get then uh, definitive proof on, on exactly what I've done and get a diagnosis and, um, and go from there really and, and get on with my rehab and make sure I'm... Uh, Working hard to get back, playing as soon as possible. Obviously, I want to be playing in these big games. It's uh, winner takes it all on, on Sunday when uh, you play with uh, Bradford. Uh, Place in the middle eights is up for grabs. How uh, how do you prepare for an occasion like this? How will the team prepare? Uh, I, I, well, leading up to the to the battle game, I've, I've seen a few of the boys saying, and obviously it's come from John that that was our sort of quarter final, and then Halifax was the semi, and then. And then now we're into our grand final, so training had ramped up a little bit just before the battler game. Um, just the intensity of training and stuff had taken had gone up a notch, obviously in line with um, with the intensity of, the, of these big games. So um, not too much has changed. I mean, we've, we're a really focused group, so training is really bang on all the time. Um, just a lot more, a lot more steely-eyed in preparation for this week. Um, everybody knows what's on the line, um, so it's obviously a massive game and, and one that I know. The boys are really looking forward to. Well, you're, you're side to uh, what are you expecting from Bradford on Sunday? Obviously, Bradford are a quality side. I mean, they've got they've got quality players all across the park, and and they're a full-time outfit, so they're conditioned and conditioned really well. So we know it's going to be a tough test. But going back all them weeks to the first game of the season, and, and I was involved in that game, and we we weren't far off then, um, and we've come on leaps and bounds since then, and. Um, like you said previously, the, the momentum we've got going forward and the confidence we've got, um, I think it's going to be a really intriguing game and, and definitely one that I think we can pull off. Uh, Placing the top four would guarantee you games with, for the likes of uh, Leeds Rhinos and, and Huddersfield. Does that, give you an, does that give the team any extra motivation to go out and win on Sunday against Bradford? Oh, definitely. Um, just to play against some teams and, and play at their places or, or whether it's down here in front of a packed house at Post Office Road. You want to test yourself against the best, the so-called best players and, and, and people that are playing in Super League are, are perceived to be at top of the game. So you want to see how you fare against an opposite number or an opposite team. So um, definitely added motivation to get to get in them uh, and be playing in them top games. Uh, thousands of fans are expected to turn out for this game, both from, from Featherstone and, and Bradford. How will the atmosphere affect the, the team and the players? possibly even the, the scoreline? Well, obviously it's going to, it's going to be a big occasion um, and, the, and the crowd's going to come in the numbers um, like they did for the last fixture with Bradford. Uh, they travel really well and that's credit to their fans as well. So um, it's, it's going to, the, the, boys, the boys will appreciate a lot of noise and a lot of support. It obviously can act as sometimes an 18th man for the team if, if, the, if the crowd's behind them. It gives, when you're in your uh, dark place in a game and you're struggling, you're, you know, you're tired and the crowd's cheering you on, it definitely gives you an added boost that you need. What's the atmosphere like uh, in the camp out of this game? Are the players nervous? Are they confident? How are they feeling? Uh, the place is bouncing, to be honest. Um, I mean, th everybody's really, really excited more than anything. Um, definitely feeling confident. Um, I think the nerves will come in on game day. I think if you're not nervous, you do, you're not really... In my personal belief, if you're not nervous, you don't really care about it. But that, that goes for different people who've got different opinions on that. So there'll definitely be some nerves, but I think it's exciting nerves and it's it's um, just wanting to do the best for yourself and for your team and, and for John and, and all the coaching staff. Do you feel like your team is uh, firing on all cylinders now? I, I definitely think we are, yeah. I think we've got more improvement in us. Even, uh, like I say, as I watched the uh, Halifax game as a spectator, unfortunately. But um, there's definitely still things we can improve on and, and I think everybody knows that. And, on our day, I think if we get all them things together and everybody's uh, playing their best game, we can uh, we can take on anybody. How has it been playing under John Sharp this season? It's been great. Personally, I think he's been fantastic for the club. Um, he's brought uh, a different sort of culture to the to the group and to the to the club as as a whole again. Um, and he's a great bloke, so he can talk to him one on one, and he uh, he really he really has everybody's best interests at heart. When all the players sat down at the start of the season, uh, what was the target? Where did you want to finish? Top four. That we, we had initial presentation at the start of the season and, and we wanted to be in this four. Um, we were disappointed not to get in it last year, 
Um, obviously, it's a completely different circumstance this year, but um, the ultimate goal at the start of the season was to get in the top four and be playing in these middle eights. Well, uh, Featherstone are set to announce some uh, latest news on the ground development later today. Uh, clearly, that shows the ambition. Uh, the ambition is Super League. How long do you think it will take Featherstone to get to that level? Well, it could be just around the corner, couldn't it? I mean, if we have a continue this run and, and get a few uh, a bit more confidence under his belt against these big teams, it, it could be sooner rather than later. But the fact that the club's got these plans in place show where the club's going and how it's going to grow. And just the, the stand behind us was built by by the volunteers, and it's a real um, a real family feel at this club, and everybody digs in for each other, and that's that's one of the, the main reasons that people enjoy being here and playing for the club. Um, so the fact that the plans are in place and the club's going places is, is really exciting. Uh, I wish you speed, uh, I wish you a speedy recovery. Thank for you. now, thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Mate. Thanks.